Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I told you we're loud now. We're loud now. Jesus Christ. I was like, how, how do we sound? I need to like put it up to my ear to like hear how we sound and then just <laughs> got jump scared. Cole's corner jump scare. Cole's corner jump scare. Cole corner jump scare. Hello, Mr. Toon Link Main and Cole Mail. Cole Mail. Why are you labeled Toon Link Main? I play Toon Link sometimes. Sometimes. I'm still trying to like figure that out. I. The game has been out for nearly five fucking years. Yeah, and I never play it. <laughs> That's not true. We play it way more than I think I should play it with you. Yeah. You you made me do bad habits. Wait, really? <laughs> you son of a bitch. God damn. You never jump out of shield, so I always go for grabs, and then I remember- I don't know up. to jump out of shield. Maybe if I actually- Maybe if I actually sat down and, like, played the game and, like, learned how to counteract against stuff instead of playing it casually, mm -hmm. maybe I'd learn some of these things. But then but whenever alas. we do play, you always end up wanting to play for, like, maybe half an hour, and you're like, alright, I'm done. I, yeah, because you always play Duck Hunt. <laughs> 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 and kick my face in constantly. <laughs> Not true, not true. Maybe, yeah. maybe I got a new character cooking. Yeah. yeah. I mean, last time we played, you did pick random every time, so I do appreciate that. And it was a lot more fair. <laughs> it's very true. Very but, uh, hi, well, oh, hi, hi welcome hello, to hello, stream. I'm, I'm Cole. Welcome to stream. It, me, Pat. Stop! As usual. What we decided mean? to basically, like, alternate who starts stream oh, every week. Because, well, I mean, we didn't stream last week because you were out of state. I was in Pittsburgh and I had a very fun time with Pittsburgh people. I did not play well in tournament, but I had fun. And yeah, that's all yeah. I'm going to take away from it because if I go into what happened, I'm, I'm going to piss myself off. I, yeah. I don't want to do that. Yeah. So a, had, lot, a lot happened that you were telling me about that weekend. Yeah, and uh, It seems fun. like a lot. but I had fun with the people I met there. And that's, I think, most important of all. Yeah. That I, I, I met up with people, socialized, and plan on going to another event in Virginia. Oh, yeah, uh, I forgot. This is what you're doing. This yeah. bullshit. And I'm about to drop again. And I'm you're about, about to drop, and you're about to die. Fucking bullshit vines! Yeah. Oh, okay, we're back to this shit, huh? It's like, I wonder if this whole problem can be fixed mm -hmm. if, like... Say, like, you you could still get, like, comboed, so you still have to be careful, but, like, you can only get hit, like, five times, and then, like, you're guaranteed to get out of it, to, like, have a fair chance. But that would make the game too fair. That would make the game too fair and too fun to play, so, uh, nah, actually, screw that. I, we like the old Kingdom Hearts formula. I, I kind of miss... Yeah, I kind of miss whichever previous Kingdom Hearts game we played was... I'm Birth by like, Sleep? Yeah, I miss that game's, like, menu system. Really? Fuck. Yeah, because I, 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 in the old menu system, it would, you press the button and I could use the D-pad to move around. Oh, I, right, like, yeah. Like, you don't have, like, the, because you can't toggle the menu with the triggers anymore. No. Because the triggers are your shortcut for your link ability. Which I, I, I Which I, you I, never I, use. I could use, that's right. Meow. Yeah. Meow. I think, I think, are you invincible during this anyway? You should probably use this more. I don't care. Don't know. Don't know. Don't care. Neat. Will Joe is saying skill issue. Anyways. Take out the other two big flower dream eaters. I'm not here. I'm fucking not poison. Okay. Yeah, I, it's annoying because I have to like move my hand in a weird spot in order to. You literally have to. It's like old PS2 Kingdom Hearts 1 style of nen menu navigating, which, by the way, you never had to experience this, but in the original Kingdom Hearts 1, you couldn't move the camera using the right stick. It's fucked up. You, because that's how you control your menu. You literally had to move the camera using the triggers. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. What a, what a fucked up Which, like, I'm, I'm at least glad they changed that, but, like... Come on. Uh, that, that yeah. feels like it should have been in the beginning. I actually wonder if you can put some of your command deck... Because... The triggers in this game bring up your shortcut menu. Right. Which I wonder if that means you can put command deck items in your shortcut menu. I, I'm not going to care enough to figure that out. I, but it would make playing this game so much easier. But then what could I complain about? <laughs> oh my god. Listen, I'll do it, and then we'll see who's having the easier time playing this game. It's It'll be like a, like a study. We should do that. More like Kingdom Farts? <gasps> How could you say that? Who that was that? that was Pyro. 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 Seven eight four six. Oh, thank you, Pyro. Welcome to stream, Pyro. Welcome to stream. Always appreciative of you. I don't know where I'm going. 
You gotta defeat uh, the gotta guys be before you drop. Kidding. Are you fucking? It happened again. It's like at this point, just like level grind no. until you drop. No, How I could switch. You? I could switch back to you right away and just Where to let you fuck? get past this. No, 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 no. And then just do it when you have a full drop meter. I was at a full drop meter. Okay, hold on. I no, you. That one. I didn't think you were. I, I thought you were at like half. Here. Over here, there's gotta be a guy over here, surely. You're literally. I think you have items that can Mother prevent. Motherfucker, where have, the fuck? You have items that can Is prevent you from dropping here? so early. I don't want items. I want to win the video game. Items will let you win the video game. <laughs> <laughs> items will let you have the ability to win video games. Oh shit. Money is used for goods and services. It like it's not in here because I just fought the guy here. Is it not? Do you not have to defeat the dandelions, or is no. it? Ah, it's in here, right? Fuck! Come on! Oh shit! Get, get, Wait, fuck. is it? Is this the last guy? That's the last guy! Give me the fucking guy! Oh, you're not gonna be able to. Where you got, did he go? You got ten whole seconds. I'm, it's not gonna happen. I'm living, God. Wait, no, I died. That's perfect. Also, you're still using the base keyblade. I just want you to know that. What you do have, you mean? You have other keyblades. <laughs> you literally have other keyblades. How do I, uh, items. Keyblades. Oh. See? So, so that's so much fucking better. Holy shit. I do that every time I play this game, to be fair. Oh my god. I do always do that. Every time. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna drop. Yeah. yeah I can do it. I, now that I know where it's at, we can just... You have one it. full meter of drop. I can do it. I can okay. Do it. Okay. I, I can do it. Just gotta speed run. There we go. Yeah, yeah, speed All right, run. nice, nice. Motherfucker! Oh I my already god. Got good start, good start. Like, it spawns you right in front of it. Uh, Pat, how was your week? We I'm have doing two whole weeks of content we ha can talk about. Oh my god. And hey, guess what, Cole? What? You're gonna be so proud of me. Yeah. Guess what I did? What did you do? I took notes. Oh, yeah, what do you mean? I have topics. Ooh, you do what I do. I actually do. I was actually, I was like, you know. Lately, I've been like, you know, I've, I was like looking at like Twitter and like doing stuff and I'm like, this would be good for stream. However, I never remember to talk about it until it's like last second. Right. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to write some of this stuff down and then maybe it'll be a fun thing to talk about on there stream. There you go. There you go. Um, well, Pat, what did you bring to the table for the first time in three years of doing this fucking <laughs> forever long bullshit? What is the first topic you brought? Uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Huh? <laughs> you mean the TV show? So, yeah. It's, it's, I mean, we could, we could talk about that for a little bit if you want to. They exactly. released the, the, the trailer for yeah. Sonic 3, and then, like, right after, they made the, like, Knuckles TV show. Right. And I just thought it was very funny, because it's like Sonic oh, 3 and Knuckles. You mean Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic, Sonic 3 and Knuckles and Shadow, right? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Right. By oh, way, Sonic 3. I... Yeah. <laughs> In my brain, I'm like, yeah, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is, in fact... Is, in fact, a video game. <laughs> yeah, so I was very confused by what the fuck you're talking about. But I remember now, Sh Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is the one with Shadow, because it's Sonic Adventure 2 for some reason. Yeah. I mean, not for... Well, is it 2 or 1? Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah, uh, Sonic Adventure 2, yeah, that's yeah. the one with Shadow. <sighs> Um, yeah, 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 I remember now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I am... Mm, ah, I'm excited? I'm kind of excited. I think that's the word I want to use. Because it's like, we've already established the, like, sort of, like, style of how these Sonic movies are going, seeing right. as we had Sonic Movie 1, which was debut Sonic Movie, right. Sonic movie and then Sonic was... Movie 2, which only added to it. Sonic Movie 1 was literally just like, hey... We need to get from point A to point B, but my leg don't work anymore. Oh my god. And now Sonic Movie 2 is like, alright Tails, hit the second tower. <laughs> Jesus. I remember when you said that to Tails. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited, because it's like, even if it's not as good, if even if it's not going to be as good as the like first two, mm -hmm. there's still at least going to be something there that we can like point at and be like, that's neat. Yeah, that's a damn member. That's a damn member. I, I mean, because it's like, that's what those movies are about, right? It's it's like God, celebrating like, hey, look at the thing. Isn't this neat? I guess. We, we, we know what you I, like. I know the thing that the movie's referencing, so it must make the movie decent. I, well, I mean, yeah. No, no, I, I'm, I'm saying that like as a, well, 
Holy shit. He's doing a big suck. Okay. He's doing a big suck. Oh my god, he's oh, so big. Oh, he's big. He's boy. so big. I don't know how effective this is to Oh my god, you're in hell. You're in literal hell. In the void. Um, you gotta go this way. Right? No! No, I'm he got sleeping. the honk shoes. Yeah, the honk shoe. Um, I'm excited. I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy it. No matter what, I'm gonna enjoy the movie. Yeah. Like, obviously, if, if it's poorly acted or... Uh, actually, this is a perfect transition. Oh, right. Uh, Holy shit. Uh, yeah, take on the Dream Eaters, by the way. Uh, yeah, you got yeah. it. <laughs> this is the thing. I knew... So, last last time we streamed, um, I made mention of being like, Oh, I, I'll i save the game. And then I walked a little further with your character trying to find a save spot. Uh-huh. And I hit this. Gotcha, and gotcha. this is the thing I told you before stream. I was like, ah, oh, I should probably tell Pat. Oh, yeah, you, you were funny. like, I have information to tell you, and then you completely forgot the information. And, I think and this was, you think this was the information? This is definitely the information. There was a cutscene I skipped, so. Okay, uh, it's, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Sure. Yeah. Any horror, any horror. Um, I mean, I'm doing good so far. This this is actually a great transition. I, I'm hoping that the movie, for the Sonic movie, it stays in one sort of design. Oh, oh. shit. He's gonna die. I gotta rescue him. Don't, don't let him die. Where is he? Where is he? Man, so little easy. guy's in trouble. It's so easy to tell which one's your guy and which one's the other. Oh, there's my guy. little guy. Rescue. You have to. I'll have to mash it. Yeah. I <laughs> died. No. <laughs> um, I gave my life for my little guy. I was going to talk about. I watched this movie today. Mm -hmm. I watched the Tron movie. Okay. The Tron Legacy to figure out if this movie is like the same as it is uh, in the game. Okay. Uh, basically, that cutscene we saw was the exact same, except it was well acted. Okay. Um, so it, 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 this game is doing like the. It's not taking from Kingdom Hearts 2, where it's like, oh, it's inside Ansem's computer. It's well, literally just the plot of the movie, beat for beat. Yeah, but it's also the same world as Ansem's computer. But it is still technically Ansem's computer. Yeah, this is Ansem's computer, technically. Yeah. Um, but it also means that the real world exists within Kingdom Hearts because Kingdom Hearts... Um, like well, they, instead of it being the real world, it's like Hollow Bastion, right? Because that's where Ansem's computer is. That's what confused the fuck out of me because the main character of the movie is from the real world and the guy we saw talking to his it's dad... It's like, is the main guy from Hollow Bastion, then, in the, in the context of this game? I guess he'd be someone from Hollow Bastion we just never seen. Right. It's very... This This is kind of where, like... This is kind of where it's left us. Th this is where the story of the Disney World kind of fall apart. Yeah. And I'm sure someone's going to be like, no, but it's a dream. No, but it's all a dream. It's all a dream. But, but it's say, actually important. Yeah, but if you're And it has consequences on the real world. Yeah, this is all just for me to say that I fucking hated that movie. Because, like... They did this shit that I fucking hate with 3D animation. Yeah. So, sometimes what movies will do, they will have the movie run in, like, a, a widescreen format, right? Like, the black bars up top and bottom. They oh, like yeah, like that cinema. ultra widescreen cinema, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Oh, shit, I'm And it looks that. really good, and I really enjoy the design of that. So, he gets, the, the main guy gets into the world of Tron, right? And yeah. when he arrives in the world of Tron, it's that widescreen thing still, yada, yada, yada. Uh-huh. And then the CG starts, and all of a sudden it fills the entire screen. Does it, it just... like, cut to just, like, it being regular? Yeah. Like, filling the screen? Yes! Just That's out weird. of nowhere, like, once it shows the first flying machine, it's just like, Oh, yeah, by the way, now it's, now it's, uh, now it's, um, full screen now. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. And it kept switching back and forth. Big Night Today Streamer Awards, Fire Emblem Heroes trailer, and Splatfest. I only care about two of those things. Yeah. Um, but no, I fucking hate that shit. Oh my god, when it comes oh my god, to please, TV. please, that please. That shit please. happened with, um, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and Ant-Man Ant the Wasp Quantumanium. I was gonna ask, wasn't there, like, a some kind of Marvel movie where, like, it's not like they cut to it being regular, but, like, they actually, like, slide the top and bottom bars off the screen? <laughs> no, they don't even do that. They just, it just... There it, was a movie that did that that, like, made us laugh really hard. 
I can't God, remember. I remember what you were talking about. That's so true. I can't remember the movie either, but that is very it, true. Yeah. Anyways, I, I bring all this up because I just wanted to talk about that, and I also saw this movie. Yeah. It, it, it sucks. It's, it's, it's not great. I, I don't hear a lot of people say that this movie is very good. I don't hear a lot of people talk about this movie, period. Yeah. It, like, was made... I mean, Tron was decent for it being, like... Was it the first, like, Disney... Like produced movie that used CG, like not I Pixar. So. I believe so. Not Pixar, but like Disney themselves. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. I think it might have been even before. Like before Pixar. Yeah, and like Pixar got the idea to make a whole CG movie from this. Right. Oh shit! I didn't mean to go up there. What happened to Mario between '64 and Odyssey? He clearly had eight points of max health. But now he only has three. Is Mario dying? <laughs> Mario's getting older. That's literally what it is. He's getting too old for this shit. He's getting too old. How many Dream Eaters are there? My God! I let me go, you stupid bastard! Oh, you're in a you're in what a, the hell is happening? For a second. Hold on, I gotta. All right, all right, Riku, you you have your fun. You got okay. Get over there. Get over there, and cure. Thank you. Man, this game is so fun. I love it when I don't have to play the game. Yeah, I, listen, listen, you fucker. Once I'm done fighting all these dream eaters, I'm passing the controller back oh, to you. Oh, you're trying to play the game. I, you barely played the game. I, I think I, I, I think I have to take more initiative here. I have to be like, no, it is your turn. I played the game all of last stream, basically. No. All right, no. thank God we're done. No, 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 that's fine. It's fine. Connectly took the first five hits in '64. Oh yeah. yeah. Damn. Whoa. Oh, plot. Oh, baby. What? I. What? 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 <laughs> what, what, what huh? What, Riku. Huh? <laughs> Riku, there's no one over there. <laughs> Riku, you good? Was that a clone of Riku? Damn. Also, his skin was. Oh, yeah. Who's this? I'm Riku. Sam and I were on our way to the portal. Oh, is she dead? Who? Who is she? Come with us. Why does he have, like, an artist glove on? Portal, but we need a solar sailor. There's one in the underground. Dock. So is he the original Tron? Yes. Okay. He was the guy who created Tron, and then he created like a, a version of himself. Oh, we can watch the movie. Oh my god, is is this worth it? Yes, we have to watch every cutscene, Pat. I mean, yeah, I suppose. It's very important plot. But yeah, basically, he got trapped in the Tron world, and he was just like, "Oh, I have to be here." And the brother, the kids, just like, why did my dad leave me? The the opening, the opening, the way that they establish yeah. everything in the opening is very funny. Yeah. Because the the fucking news people are just like, what will become of the orphan kid who now owns all of this money? And the orphan kid is just sitting there. He's like, maybe the orphan kid is sad because he's sad about his dad missing. He's so sad. And the grandparents are like, let me help you. And he goes, no, I'm sad. I'm like, yeah. I Look at me, it. how sad I am. <laughs> Look at how sad I am. Oh my god. Uh, wait, also the Swords version of Hunchback is so much longer. By the way, if I sound different today, I'm laying on the beanbag because I'm kind of relaxing today. He's a little bit cozy. I'm, I'm still sitting up. I'm like, you know, it's, it's pure business when we play Kingdom Hearts. Absolutely. Oh, he's saying the thing that they need to do. It's oh, the yeah, plot clues, of the movie. Clue is the thing that he created, but Clue is turned evil. Yeah, okay. Is this still about a video game? Kind of, no, kind of. Kind of, maybe? It's more about, like, the Tron is less a game now and more of like, oh, we're gonna Like take... a, is it like a, like a Matrix kind of situation? Yeah. Where it's like technology is controlling humans? Kind of. Okay. Speaking By the way, we, we can, we can talk yeah. about that. We watched the third movie. We watched all, but we can talk about all, we've watched, uh... We watched, we watched the trilogy. Yeah, and I, I'm gonna say this. Oh my god, Riku, please. I oh, wait, you're not like being put to sleep and then having to be dealt damage no matter what you do? Yeah, it's like, almost like I think Days Effects in video games is the opposite of game design. Well, whoa, that's a can of worms. Give me that tape. I... <laughs> Give it to me. I, okay, I guess, yeah, before we talk about The Matrix, right. I think I've talked about this before, but it's getting awesome. dazed in a video game, yeah. you can get dazed in a video game and have it work and make sense. Right. But just being like like in a JRPG, this happens in Xenoblade, this happens in Kingdom Hearts, this happens in a lot of like like Final Fantasy, mm. especially a lot of like turn-based RPGs, where it's like this even happens in Mario RPG, where it's like 
the enemy can have like a move that you have no ability of seeing coming or any ability of like reacting to and they could just either daze you or put you to sleep or mm. make it so that you skip turns mm. and you just you can do nothing about it well, you could yeah. just have it happen and then they could just wombo combo you until you die unless the rng is lucky or like you you're able to like get out of it by some happenstance God, that's it's... not game design that's making you wait that is taking the game out of the player's hands. Would you say that the game makes you do so much goddamn waiting? It makes me do so much goddamn waiting. <laughs> so much goddamn waiting. Uh, I should watch that. Was that from Sequelitis? That was Sequelitis. I, yeah. I gotta watch that again. Um, that was so good. What was I gonna say? No, it's like... It, like, in Street Fighter, oh, right, there's a mechanic in the game where if you block too much... Like if you if you if you block way too much, you become dazed. Okay. Um, and it's a punishment for playing a too defensive game. See, that's a situation where it's not as bad because it's a consequence of your own actions. Right. Exactly. So if you can learn to avoid it. Right. It's mostly if you can either learn to avoid it or have it so that you know the enemy is going to do a move that will daze you, so you can react and do something out of it. Whereas even in a, like a real-time action game like Kingdom Hearts, if an enemy can, like does an ability that could daze you, you can't see it over the entire like mob of enemies that are right. also trying to do stuff to you. It's like there's still no way of being able to tell what's happening or to be able to avoid it. You have no time to react. That. And that's a problem with a lot of enemies in like combat in Kingdom Hearts, and like that's true of like all the games, mm -hmm. where it's like so so often it's like enemies can just do shit that you just can't see or react to. It makes it so much more boring, and in other cases, so much more frustrating. Right, because you're just trying to fucking do the. Oh, your friend's about to die. Oh my god, weed is in trouble. No, weed. rescue. Don't die again. I have a feeling that I'm I'm scared of how annoying that's probably gonna be in the future. I don't think you can destroy that. I think you can only take it over. How do I take it? Oh, I have to do the, I have to do that. I forgot. Oh, you're in I have the to hack. hack. You're in the hack. Oh right. Oh my God. Wait, huh? Oh, I did it. You could have made it self-destruct. Oh, I see. Oh, I had a choice. Yeah. Oh, but now it's helping me. Well, no, it's a little late for that. All right. Well, it's fine. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It, being told to wait in an RPG is very annoying, but I feel like it can be done well. I don't enjoy the RNG mechanics. So I'm playing the Pokemon Black right now on stream. Yeah. Um, and there is a the gym leader we fought. Her gimmick was she uses electric type moves that paralyze your Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you would hit the move, and the Pokemon would just go, "Um, actually, I don't." I don't, I'm not going to do it. I, I can't do it, actually. I'm right. incapable of doing it. And I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? I, I, I get it's a punishment for the game. Mm -hmm. I understand that. But maybe, just maybe, make it more consistent. Make it like two or three turns. Like, make it well known for me. Your guy just died again, by the way. I, yeah, this is what I mean about this getting annoying, because it's like, I want Weed to come with me over here, right. not worry about those enemies, and worry about what's going on over here, but he keeps dying. At right. this point, I'm trying to just let him die. <laughs> no, what a terrible owner you are. Oh my god. god I will never let you and Mama be in the same room. You can hit that guy. Do the, do the magic thing. Uh, yeah, that's true. Or I could progress. You have to hack. Never mind. You have to hack. Do guy. I have to hack? To hack. Oh shit, shit, hey, shit, shit. Hack. Oh. oh well, well maybe you could hack oh, a little later. Oh you maybe you could hack a little later, Pat. Hey, do you wanna play the game? No, you're having fun. No, oh. let, maybe I should let you play no, the game. No, you're for having a little so bit. much fun playing. Nah, nah, I don't wanna take the game away from There's you, you know. Ways of playing around static. I mean, yeah, I found loopholes and ways to play around paralyzation. Uh, here, like... you can have a drop decelerator so you can play the game for even longer. Oh thanks, Pat. <laughs> Oh man, what a what a guy you are! Here you go. Um, what was I gonna say? No, but like in this game, you just fall asleep, and no amount of mashing or anything will stop the fact that you are now a honk schnoer. Yeah, and it's like especially if it's like a random period of time between when you fall asleep and when you wake up, makes it suck even what? more because it's like it's unpredictable. Where it's like you can't even plan around being asleep for a certain period of time, you know? True. Yeah, track down Esmeralda. I came through that door. You came through the bottom door, you have to go through the top. Gotcha, okay. Well, 
Don't tell me twice, Pat. Oh my god. Anywhere. Uh, yeah, that was a long-winded story. Yeah. The Matrix. Ma yeah, we saw, we saw the Matrix trilogy. <laughs> um, I'm in a weird boat. I don't okay. know where I stand, which movies are on which spot for me yet. Mm -hmm. But I will say it's very interesting to me that like the first that the first movie was like a mix of martial arts and like what does it mean to be human? What are we? What are we becoming? It had its own like specific theme and message it wanted to say. Right, right. Number two tried to do that, but I think they got their messages meddled a little bit. Like it wasn't as clear what they were trying to say, which made them. It's like I feel like they already said their message in the first movie, and the right. second movie, it's like, well, what is well, there more to say? Explore more themes, like more ideas of what it means to be human, like time, the the the, the, the understanding of, like who the self is, yada yada yada. Yeah, that's all really interesting. Small problem. Mm -hmm. Um, they didn't fully, like comprehend that like they suggest they kind of like wave their hand at it going like, yeah oh like, uh, yeah it's we, there's the there's the theme yeah now you're happy yeah and then they did their fight scenes but oh i'm stunned yeah isn't, isn't that a cool game mechanic okay well um so by by the third movie they just dropped all that and we're just doing cheesy one-liners as they destroyed machines yeah like it, it kind of all fell apart at that point it was less about the matrix which I guess isn't a bad thing per se, but like, when your series is called The Matrix and the idea of people being interested in it is about what does it mean to be human, yada yada yada, can machines become human, yada yada yada, and then you don't do that for the end, it's kind of weird. Yeah, because I feel like the third movie is the like worst victim of like not having like a clear theme or right. like having just, the theme or the message already said and they just don't know what else to do. It just kind of existed as a thing. Yeah. Which kind of sucks. I didn't mind it. Like, like even watching through it again, I still didn't mind it as much as some other, like, dumb action movies that fit right. in the same, like, you know, boat or whatever. Um... Just because, I, I, I don't know if it's just because of the context of where it came from mm -hmm. or what, but uh, I all that to say is I, I still enjoyed it, but I could definitely see what you mean by like, yeah. It's like, the way I feel about it is the first movie had its message, had its theme, had its smart writing. The second movie tried to do that, but they wanted to go in a different direction where mm. it was a lot of them setting up this big war that was going to happen between the humans and the machines right. and the threat that is spreading throughout the Matrix, which is the Smith program. Like, that's starting to happen, but, like, not following through completely. Right. And then the third movie was the, was, like, the effect of that cause right. that the second movie set up. But even then, it kind of ended with, it, it kind of had its own story of it being like, oh, by the way, here's what happened, and they won the war, except not really, and now more, even more, more ships are coming. Yeah. And it's just, it's just like, I was like, man. It's like the effect of what they set up in the second movie, mm -hmm. but like, that's it. There yeah. wasn't really much else. It's like the third movie is fun to watch if you want to see a movie that has, like, nothing else to do with anything besides, like, like war and like fighting and like the yeah. dumb action of the dumb action movies. If you cared about Zion and wanted to see where the people of Zion ended up and what happened with them, Jesus Christ, Kenny, yeah, with, with all that. Congratulations, the third movie does that, but like that's really all it does. Yeah, it's like it does that, but like that's it. Right. There's no more to it. There's it doesn't leave you thinking about anything right. or feeling like anything it's just war and then they Literally congratulations they win yeah it ends with them going like oh the war is over pieces ba 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 oh it's over and I'm like um huh yeah just like that just years of enslaving humans and it's, just... it's not like oh they win but like well I mean the machines are still out there, but it's like, oh, but they're friendly now. Now the machines. Now are they're friends. friendly machines. Yeah. Where it's and like, like in my head, I'm like, they still enslaved you all, and also like, 
Like, are they going to free all the people now? How are they going to eat? Are they going to let you back on the surface? Do you have to live in the grounds? Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like... It's like you wish... Like, you just wish there was more. But I know for a fact that the fourth movie is not going to do any of that. And no. It's like a soft reboot thing. The, the third movie didn't end in a way that could be Whoa. like, holy shit. Oh, my God. Nice. The third movie didn't end in a way that, like... Leaves you being like, like, yeah, sure, the movie, like, the trilogy ended, but, like, you still have, well, I mean, we do still have all these questions on our mind about, like, yeah. just why is this all normal now? When it should be, like, oh, I, I wonder if it's, like, oh, they're on friendly terms, but for how long? And, you know, right, like, leaves you curious about, like, their world, like, some more. Because I feel like that's kind of what, um... I, I want to compare it to Star Wars because it's like I feel like that's what it kind of wanted to try and be, especially in the like in the second and third movies, because it's like it's a lot of like, you know, big alien tech, like fighting right. and, you know, spaceships act, like and... spaceships and like stuff like that. Whereas Star Wars, the original trilogy, when it ended, it's like you can still think about the like their world and like have it be like a like an interesting thing in your mind whereas the matrix just kind of ends yeah so that was a long-winded way of me saying star, star wars is good because it, it ended in a way that's satisfying whereas the matrix just kind of ended yeah i kind of was just like um and everyone's happy and yeah this is the finale and we did it that doesn't be here actually i don't well, it's a new place. I think so. Well, it's, okay, hold on. Let me check the map. I can't check the map right now. It's the only place I can go. There's a chest there. There's a, there's a chest here. Hey, do you mind? I'm opening a chest, you little shit. Oh, my God. It's called the tunnels. All right, let's go back down the tunnels. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll see if how the fourth one fares. I think after I see the fourth one, then I'll kind of have my ranking. Yeah. I want to say that I think the second one is the weakest for me. I I think but I'd agree, yeah. My spirit seems to be on something. What do you mean? Holy shit. Ah! Oh, there's a wall. Oh, your spirits are helping you. Cool. You see? It's, they're helping you. I probably could have figured that out. Okay. Man, smart big boy brain. But you clearly did. This just led me back <laughs> to this... Can you not go? There's not a door down below. Uh, let's find out. Maybe they'll sniff something out. Maybe they'll sniff snoof. Maybe they into oh, another ah, into ah, another secret. Oh my god! Get off me, motherfucker! Oh my get. god! Stop! Stop! No, I don't. You, wanna... you might want to. Yeah. There you, go. there you go. Now, now heal. There you go. There we go. Good job. Oh, they're behind me. They're right behind me, aren't they? Oh, God. oh my God! <laughs> you see what you get when you try and do bits in this game. I love doing bits, though. What? Oh my God! Okay. Okay. Also, at some point, I feel like you should probably make more spirits. Do what? I don't know. That sounds like a pat engage with the game more. That sounds like a pat thing to do. Really. That sounds like a patism. Yeah, that sounds like a thing Pat should do, and I get the rewards for not having to do it. You know what I'm saying. Yo, you just beat Hunchback of Sora. Shouts to Will Joe. What? Will Joe just because he's playing this game too. Oh, he just okay. beat he Hunchback with Sora. Well, that's so cool, dude. I have. He also... beat up a Hunchback with Sora. <laughs> Jesus, Sora. <laughs> you want to talk about the Sora AI? You want to talk about how uh, humanity's doomed and we're fucked forever? Oh yeah. You want to talk about that? I just love all the memes where it's like we created a new AI and it's called Sora, and then dearly beloved stops. <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't look too much into it, so I don't know much about it. So basically, it's just an AI that's able to replicate video perfectly. Okay. And by perfectly, I mean it still makes mistakes. But and it's still very clearly AI. <laughs> but Well, no, that's the problem. It looks really good. Okay. Like, it looks really well made. Yeah. Uh, and the concern people have is uh, basically, like, this is going to be used now for so much... <laughs> yeah. No, it's gonna be used as like marketing and like replacing animation and like video. Like, 
you will not be able to tell if a video is AI made or not at some point. Because you can change the, what the hell is it called? The metadata? Yeah, you can change the metadata and you can just change who made it and make it say that it's someone who like wasn't, like, oh yeah, I actually animated it, but they did, you know? See, here's the thing about that. Mm. I feel like we're never going to be in a situation where, like, like sure, common people might, you know, look at stuff and be, I say, the common folk. But, like, they'll look at stuff and be like, they, they probably won't be able to tell. But, like, if you know precisely what to look for, I feel like there's always going to be at least someone out there mm. that can determine if someone so if something's AI or not. Oh, absolutely. I guess the point I'm more trying to make here is like it's someone made a someone responded to one of the prompts. It was a prompt about a cat walking through like a field or whatever. Mm -hmm. And someone brought up a really interesting point of being like I have photos of my pet cat who has passed away years ago. And I still hold on to those photos of memories. Mm -hmm. This video is an insult to that. Yeah. Because now it's just recreating something that I remembered from my childhood. And it's it's using it in an amorphous blob of other people's content in order to make a profit for somebody else. Yes. And that's kind of the big thing. I feel like another big thing, too. Yeah, I can't wait to get framed for crimes. Yeah. Let's go. But another big thing, too, is it's like... One big way of being able to determine if something's AI or not is the context behind the piece. So, like, to determine if something's AI, my point is, you don't necessarily have to even look at what, like, is being made. You have to look at, you can look at, like, the creators and, like, their surrounding, like, people. And if, like, they, someone says, I made this, like you know, traditionally using animation, but it's clearly AI, mm -hmm. you can look at that person and you can find okay. out, like, what groups of people they're a part of or, like, you know, if if they're, like, liking tweets that relate to AI or, like, just, like, the context around the person. You can clearly tell, mm -hmm. like, based on context. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's another thing, too, is, like... Oh, that's real, though. Even in AI pieces... Machines can never know, like, like context and subjectiveness All right. and stuff like that. I have a point, but I don't fully know where it's going. The, Just like, oh my god, uh -oh, he's evil. the evil man is evil. Um, the, the big thing I was going to bring up with this, um, fuck. Uh, god, I had a whole thing to say about this thing. Um... Oh, right. Someone recently posted a photo of them making AI art and complaining that somebody stole the art that they prompted. Like, they made an AI prompt and then someone reposted it as their own art in quotation marks. Uh-huh. Saying that they made that AI prompt. That's my AI artwork. Yes. Uh-huh. And the person who made that tweet called out being like, Oh, I can't believe he did that. What the fuck? Oh, he's darkness and evil. But Frodo, would, but he's a Christian man. Oh no, the camera! <laughs> the camera! No! No! Uh, where's it going to go? All oh, right. Uh, so like, like he makes a tweet being like, "Oh, I'm glad you all see this. You should check out One Piece. Here's some art I made." And someone responded to it, showing like a fuck up of the AI in the corner. Being like, maybe you should learn how to color or do anything, really. Yeah. And the person who made the made the AI art was just like, oh, what do you know about anything? You don't even know how to make anything at all. The person quote retweeted be like, actually, I do. I work on One Piece. <laughs> God, I love that shit so much. And then they started going back and forth on each other. I gotta find it. Oh, my they God. They started speaking Spanish. Like, yeah. Like, they started to insult each other in Espanol. Holy shit. Hold on, I gotta, I'm showing Pat. This is the art that the person posted. The art in quotation marks. Yeah. And the artist zoomed in on this part of the hand, because it looks kind of funky. Oh yeah, he's got like six fingers there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and learn how to color properly or learn how to draw begin with. Not even in your dreams would you be able to make an illustration like this. I can do better. I can animate it. Because I've been animating for One Piece, you idiot! Uh-huh. And then circles their name in the credits. Yeah. 
Uh, White there responded by saying, let's, let's my fucking ass off. And then this person responded saying, I hate it, you are not the only one who knows how to animate the drawings. And then they just start going after each other in Spanish. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking the one that makes me laugh the most. Out oh, you got you got to fight someone. You got to fight. The one that makes me laugh out of most is if you don't like the heat kid, get out of the kitchen. We adults who do know how to illustrate and animate are speaking. Cole, you got to fight. Huh? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? I don't know why that caught me on car. He was just laying like a Family Guy character. Oh my god. <laughs> He literally, he he charged forward and hit, bonked himself against the wall and concussed himself. Yes. Ah. 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 My god. No, that's very funny. Uh, I love people like that getting hit. No, no, it, uh, I'm definitely afraid of the future and I'm scared. Um, and support artists, god please. Well, see, the, the thing is, um, what my, my whole point about, um, this is a response to what Will Joe just said. What was it? Uh, this is the least sophisticated it's ever going to be. It's totally possible in the future for it to get indistinguishable. Right. I I still kind of disagree. I think that even if AI technology is so advanced that in the future something could look indistinguishable, mm -hmm. it's still going to have those sort of AI isms that. But it's it, like you said, it's the the common person is not going to be able to tell that. I well absolutely that like, that I agree with. Like that's already happened. There is a while. Yeah, yeah. There is a while ago where there is a clip by a certain guy. I can't remember the fucking name. He does a Joe Rogan. Mm -hmm. There's a clip by Joe Rogan where Joe Rogan was like, I I buy this uh, thing that helps me you know feel better in the mornings. Blah blah blah. Like it's an AI voice basically telling you to buy something with his voice. Yeah. And he didn't know about it. He didn't know that that was a thing. But he got told about it. And he's like, oh, that's fucked up. And like, uh -huh. like he couldn't do anything because he didn't know anyone. He didn't know the people that were making the, the ad. So they couldn't, like, go after the people. Yeah. Um, but people weren't able to tell. They thought that it was actually Joe Rogan doing the ad. Mm -hmm. Like, it's happened before already. Like, people have already fallen for the trick. Yeah. So we're going to reach a point in some future where they're going to be like, oh, here's a politician who is saying one thing about a, about a certain group of people, but it wasn't actually him saying it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I feel like there's, there's going to be that. And um, not to dwell on this topic for too long. We right. can talk about other things in a bit. But um, there's going to be that. We're like, yeah, the common p person is going to look at stuff and be like, uh, that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like, uh, that, like, so much so that I can't tell. But, like, if AI is going to be, you know, so big in the future and it's going to be, like, basically commonplace, then I feel like even the common person would have, seeing as they would have more experience with AI since it'd be more prevalent, they would be able to learn and like tr either train themselves or have someone point out the specific like small little AI isms right. that they'd be able to distinguish. I feel like as AI grows, people's perception of it will also grow. That's so. That's 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 what I think, and that's I... why I think that people will still be able to distinguish between AI and reality. I think you have a very high hope of humanity. Appreciate that about it. I do because it makes sense. I don't, but cool. I'm, I'm glad someone in this household has a good idea for humanity. Cool. Oh, wait, there's a chest over there. Look at that chest suit. Pause. Time out. The, the the main reason for that, and then I'll and then I'll be done talking about it, is Dude, um, block it, chocolate. Holy shit! We gotta fucking block it. It's fucking Joe for this guy. Sorry, go ahead. It's it's about the way that um these AI things are made, where it's like, an AI image, for example, is made out of combining multiple real images and just like combining them well, into a, a thing based on like a learned intellect. Well, it's also like- Whereas people, a photo is taken by a camera. Well, so here's the fucked up thing too. People will still go through those AI images and like fix them up. Well, and I then, know that, yeah. but, it, but it's still made uh, yeah. by AI, so that, you'd still be yeah. able to tell. The thing that pisses me off, though, is when people do that, and then they immediately go, like, I made this. No, no, you did not. You you skipped, like, steps, and, like, all right, I'm just going to touch There's always going to be one little thing that 
maybe someone who isn't used to it wouldn't be able to tell. Mm. But as AI grows, which I still think it's like it's gone this far, but I still think it's kind of a fad that's gonna die out like in a few years. Years old. And then, like, you know, people are going to hook on to the next futuristic thing that's going to take over the internet. I hope it's NFTs again. Oh, boy. Because NFTs were not I thought a- NFTs, like, I mean, people crash. are still doing it, but, like, they I crash. thought, yeah. They, they basically died out by now. Yeah. I feel like that's going to happen with AI pretty soon. Maybe. And by, pr- by pretty soon, realistically, I do mean in, like, maybe five to ten years. Right. Not, not like, in the next year. Right, yeah. But, like, still. Anyway, that's my point. We don't have to keep talking about it. What the fuck am I fighting? We can talk about more fun things. <laughs> what the fuck am I fighting? Though? You're fighting a, 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 a dream eater. I already know her. It's like a dream eater gesture. This music reminds me a lot of the... Motherfucker. Are you talking about the Joe Rogan clip with him on the hot tub with the freakish nipples people were memeing? I Excuse know. me? I didn't, I didn't know about that. Fuck God! This bo- okay, I was doing fine the first time, and now I'm just fucking slamming my head against the wall. Yeah. Um. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck this guy's de- like. Okay, who? Oh, it's a war goyle. It, he's he. He's the guys, so the he's the, the Disney villains have control of the darkness, so they can summon I, dark dark beings and monsters. I feel like what's his face would not summon this guy because he's not a creature of God. Yeah. Just saying. Just saying. I mean, again, I've never seen this movie, but like I was him, on to watch today he's like too. a priest, right? Yes. Okay, he's that's like priest. the whole point. He's a priest of the Lord. Right. And here he is worshiping demons. <laughs> Literally. What a fucked up. What a fucked up preacher. What's the whole point of this movie? Is like oh, he thinks that judge. there's like the perfect person, and that if you're ugly, you're against God or whatever. No, it's because he thinks gypsies are. Are, he's being tempted by by fate from a gypsy that he finds hot, and he like, uses his power to like like assault her, uh-huh. assault her, and also Patrick is the the Patrick Star is a guard. And 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 Garfield hates Mondays. And Garfield hates Mondays. <laughs> he I've hates also, Mondays it's so also much. I've never seen this movie, but like I know the vague like sort of like story beats the movie tries to hit. Mm-hmm. I've seen the play. Yeah. But like. It, it goes a little further because obviously you go do so much in a movie like this, but like in the play, the guy is just like, yeah, you could stay here with me forever and like be protected by the church and also let me fuck you. And cool. He's like, and if you don't do that, then you know we'll just kill all your people. Then you know you're you and all your people are against God. Exactly. Yeah. I, the Hellfire is amazing though. Like Hellfire is like an actual like tour de force of animation. It's a piece about uh, the main guy. Not the, not the hero, the main villain being like, oh, she's a wretched creature sent by God to test me. And, you know, all she must burn because she she hates me. She doesn't love me. Uh, she, doesn't love, that's, she doesn't love God. It's a, it's a really powerful piece. Gotcha. Um, yeah, that cool. does sound very interesting. It's very visually appealing, too. It's like back when the animation was kind of cool looking. Uh, I want to, like, to hear, please. Okay. Killing yourself is against God, yet the preacher from that movie still did, so I don't know, he's flexible on the rules. Yeah. Is he, he's, he's the kind of guy that, like, you know, he, he bends the rules when they suit him. A televangelist, really. He would be a, uh, he would be a great televangelist. Oh, absolutely. Dude, I want to watch him televangelist fucking up. I really yeah. like those clips. I love seeing people who, like, basically fuck everyone over for money just, you know, fuck themselves. I think that's really funny. Basically, the, those people that are like, if you don't give me money, then you're a sinner and you're against God. If they don't. They, if they say that, then it's too obvious. What they say is, but like that's God the idea. God speaks to me, which already is blasphemous of the Bible. Uh huh. I'm pretty sure at least. I can call my. Well, I should... He is looking something up. He is researching. Oh. He's getting a professional on the line. Wait, he's not answering. Hold on. Let me try. Let me try a real professional. Hold on. I know he's awake. Yeah. 
If you're watching the stream, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. You son of a bitch. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. <laughs> He knows I'm calling him. God told me to pri buy a private jet, amen. God damn it, what a bastard. What God an actual bastard phone. I know I have it. Let's see, I know I have his number. I suppose while you're while you're doing that, on on the topic of like televangelists and people thinking that God can speak to them. I always love those people that like, cause it's in the Bible. It literally says that God can is the only one that can judge people. Right. And televangelists do that shit all the time. They do it so often. It's so funny. It's so people. funny. Because it's just like they're just sitting there going like, and you look like you need to give me money mm -hmm. um, because your face is wrong. But if you come up here to me, I will make your face right. Yes. And they put a little. Like perfect. They put a little holy water on that there, and it's son like of a bitch doesn't pick up. Oh my god! What a fucked up day. What a fucked up day. Whatever. This was a shot. Okay. Uh, but yeah, like saying that you know God speaks to you is kind of a big no-no within the church. Yeah. Because I don't know if you know this, but like no one speaks for God except for the people who speak for God. I um, yeah. Okay, hold on. Ugh. We should watch this movie at some point. But that's like later down the line. We have a couple movie nights planned out already, and I'm kind of excited for all of them. Hell yeah. I'm excited for your month, and then we have a trilogy I really want to watch that I'm excited for you to watch. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, so in in March, I had a really neat idea for, for a theme. Um, in... I, I suppose I could explain it because it's 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 a it's a good excuse to watch like old like 30s to like 50s like action slash horror movies. You want to watch Columbo? What? But um, I yeah absolutely I love Columbo. But that's not part of the that's not part of the month. I mean we can watch Columbo on our own time. True, true. I try, man. I yeah. try to watch Columbo and I fall asleep like halfway after like Columbo episodes are so long. Well here's the thing, because like I know where things are headed. I get mm -hmm. where it's coming from, and then like they reveal the character's like villainous intention. And I'm like, alright, cool. And then I like lose all interest. Yeah. And I fall asleep. It's like, alright, so I'm just waiting for this guy's downfall. It's which I it's know less is coming. <laughs> it's less about who done it yeah. and more about how does he figure it out. Right. Cause it's like the whole thing with Columbo is the murder happens and usually you see the murder happen and who right. did it like right. at the start and then Columbo goes in to investigate and he always like befriends the person who did it he right. always like is like on friendly slash good terms with like the guy or like he's the one that like talks to him right. the most right and then it's like it. as he learns about the murder more and more it's like the murderer, like, as he's, like, talking with them, and he's like, Whoa. oh, I know you couldn't have done this, but, like, oh, I just think it's a little strange that this, 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 and this happened, and then he starts sweating, like, really <laughs> bad. <laughs> and then he starts sweating. Yeah. That's the appeal of Columbo, is, like, Watching how he goes through, like, figuring it out, and, like, the clever way that he, like, gets him to admit it. Right, right, yeah. That's always fun, like, to see the, the fall of the individual. Exactly. It's always fun. Sorry, you, you were talking about what you wanted to watch. Um, but yeah, um... So in... This isn't a spoiler or anything, and we'll, and we'll play these games after Kingdom Hearts, but in Metal Gear Solid 3, there's a person... There's, like, a correspondent that you talk to called Paramedic, and she's the one... She's, like, Mei Ling. She saves your game. Right. Um... So, like, in, in Metal Gear Solid 1, you have Mei Ling, and, you know, you save your game, and she talks about, like, Chinese proverbs and how they relate to um, what you're going through in the game. Paramedic talks about movies. And since um, in Candid Metal Gear Ass. Solid 3, it takes place in, like, the 60s. I think mm -hmm. it's, like, specifically, like, 1964 or something. Mm -hmm. uh, she not only talks about movies, but she talks about movies from the time period. Like, literally, like, 20s mm -hmm. to 50s, like, old movies. And since it's, you know, Metal Gear Solid is a very action, like, central, like, game, it's mostly, like, action slash, like, horror slash thriller movies from the time. So I'm like, I think this would be a very good excuse to, like, kind of go back in time and be, like, like, watch all these, like, old movies. Because, like, 
my mom knows a lot about these movies and they're they're like actually like really good movies especially for the time like right. let me pull up my uh my notes here Pat, there's plenty and i'll list and i'll list off a couple of them oh no he's about to kill her uh but yeah we're gonna watch um like invasion of the body snatchers is one of them um the original godzilla if we can find that i want to i want to watch that um like a lot of like kind of dumb horror movies like uh, earth versus the spider i want to see that it's singular spider and there's like a lot of like you know alien space movies too from the time that's very like stereotypical now like there's a movie called it came from outer space and like forbidden planet and all that like i want to see all that shit yeah, all, like, the real early stuff. Like, all that shit. Like, another one I want to see, too, is um, The War of the Worlds, which kind of mm. has its own story behind it. Right. Why is she now in, like, tattered garbs? Because she was being beaten up by the guy. Right. Um, I'm lying to my boss, by the way. I told him, are, he's, I told him to call me. He says, are you okay? And I said, it's very important. <laughs> oh, very good. Important. Thank God. Uh, but yeah, if you don't know, um, the story behind War of the Worlds, as far as I remember, is it was a radio drama. Right. That was so... That was like, like for the time, so realistic, people thought it was real. The acting of it... Oh, hold on. Okay, hold on. Because it was framed like, uh, while well, you do that, it was framed like an actual like news story from the radio where like music was playing and there was like a... It was like soft, like 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 a soft piano station, and then it would just cut out to be like a breaking news: a meteorite has landed, and aliens are escaping out of it. And people thought that shit was real. Yeah, hold on. I, I, I he said he's gonna get out of bed. I'm like, wait, don't go to bed. No, no, this bit's gone too far. I no, no, no. no. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I kind of I'm excited to hear about World of War. They, then they at, like eventually they're like. I think in every hour they're like, by the way, this is a book reading. This isn't actually happening. This is from a book. I uh, yeah. Like they had to do that in the future or some shit. Yeah. I feel like you can use the Bible to push any point if you try enough. There's a video I watched about that. That was really funny. Yeah. Wait. Wait. It's Jesus. <laughs> is that Jesus? I feel like it must be, right? Well, like they can't show Jesus because like... Uh, oh, he even called him a hypocrite. <laughs> Holy shit, it's Vanitas. No, it's Sora. Huh? That's literally what Vanitas looks like. No, it's Sora. It's Vanitas. Why is there lighting now? Because he's under the window. It's the oh, light of God. The, 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 <laughs> God damn it, you beat me. It's not centered. It's not centered. Oh, oh my, my God, God, it's not centered. Oh my God. It's not centered. That pisses me off so much. Let me oh, see it again. Wait, now oh. it is? Yeah, it literally, it was lower before the previous yeah. shot. It was oh, lower and off to the left. Prison? Your heart's a prison for other people, Sora. Other people are trapped in your heart. Yeah, you got like 50 other people in there, dude. Dude. Birth by sleep. Oh, shit. Oh, thank oh, God we can learn the plot of Birth oh, by Sleep. Oh, my God. I don't care. I don't fucking care. Tetsuya Nomura is like, oh, shit, we showed Vanitas. Uh, we got to tell everyone who this guy is. I don't, let me out. <laughs> let, why can I not leave? I think you should press, like, okay. X or something. There you go. You did it. You beat you beat Punchback. You beat a, punch, a Hunchback with Sora. Oh my god! It only took us three episodes to do. Ice no! cream. Uh, look at all these Kingdom Hearts isms. God. <laughs> Should fucking start playing bingo with Kingdom Hearts. Oh my god! We told we could do that with Kingdom Hearts three. Oh my god! Oh my god. I don't know why they think of that sooner. Kingdom Hearts bingo board. That's our treat for being Kingdom Hearts one through every. Oh, no, he said got it memorized. It shows how true friends they are. Isn't Axel dead? Axel, I think, is also inside Sora. <laughs> I can't remember. I almost threw this fucking controller. I was actually about to get pissed off. It's all shit. Oh, no, here's Axel. Wait. What? What the fuck are all those hearts doing in there? Wait, we should probably... Wait, is this... this? Wait, this, this is, is from... Ansem's computer with, Tr with Tron. This is from the beginning. Oh. 
Remember it showed the beginning of, of uh, Xehanort beating the shit out of everyone? To be honest with you. Oh, you know what? Axel did die, but he became, because of how Xehanort works, he, he came back as a normal person. He's Lee now. Oh, he's just Lee? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. How do you know you're a person again? Not break. Isa. Isa? He was, um... Is this just gonna pop he, up the fucking... I, I, I literally... He's the blue-haired dude bitch. with the X-cross. on Or the X-scar. Oh, Axis. Uh, what's his name? God, I forget already. <laughs> Axis. Must be it. Yeah. Um, alright, I guess I'm going Cy to... Cyx, that was his name. That's stupid. You're stupid. Yay! All right, Tron here. World! Tron World! I should go after that flying machine. Did, what? Oh, did, Jesus. Holy shit. F Stop! Oh my god. Stop! Please. Is it this way? Where, I should go after that flying Stop. machine. You can't go either way. You have to go up. Or, or something. I don't know. Get that chest. <laughs> dude, you're missing all these checks Fuck in the you, randomizer, dude. Fuck you! You're playing the game. Oh my. Oh no. What a shame. God damn it. What do you want to give me? You can give me a drop decelerator. You get a balloon. You get a balloon. Okay, fine. You get a fucking balloon. Take a nap, Sora. <sighs> me, 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 me. He's just like me for real. Anyways. Uh, what other notes did you have, by the way? Um, you had other notes, surely, right? I did, as a matter of fact. I want to be your whole thing about the Matrix and AI. Yeah. Um, oh, you know what's something that I really want to do at some point? What is that? Um, uh, I'm not tired. I'm just bored of your discussion. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I didn't even say anything yet. <laughs> like, oh, this could be a really cool thing we could do. And you're like, God, I'm bored. <laughs> Gee, it sure is boring around here. Hey, speaking of Zelda, yeah. since you left me open with that segue. Yeah. Um, I was watching a, a stream of someone doing something pretty cool. I want to play more uh, randomizers. Because, like, I've always seen, like, streams of them, like, with, like, Ocarina of Time, mm -hmm. even Kingdom Hearts 2 as a randomizer. I've, like, I've seen that, yeah. I want to play more randomizer, because, like, they seem like so much fun. Randomizer. And, uh-huh. And there's this, um, there's this uh, thing that someone made called the Ship of Harkonnen. It's, um, basically a decompiled version of Ocarina of Time that was ported to PC, so you can like, actually run it at like widescreen and like 60 frames per second what and it looks really it? smooth. Um, it's called Ship of Harkonnen and oh. it's a decompile of Ocarina of Time. Huh. And it looks, it looks so fun. Wait, what and is it, a decompile? So when someone decompiles a game, um, there have been a couple of games that um, people have done like decompilation projects of where basically they take the original game and they look at the compiled code. It's like mm -hmm. when you make a game, you write code for it, right. but then it has to be run through a compiler so that the computer can understand it. Basically turning the code you wrote into zeros and ones and like, you know, hex code and whatnot. Language a computer can understand. Right. So decompiling something is when you take that computer code and convert it back into human legible code, basically, making the game from scratch using the computer code as reference. It takes like years to do. It's like oh. such a long process, but like you can do so much cool shit if you have that code. So for example- Like you're just rewriting the old code. Basically, yes. Okay. So for example, someone did it with Mario 64 mm -hmm. and that's why they were able to take the Mario 64 like Mario player and put them in Sonic Generations and Minecraft and Gary's oh. Mod. They it's, did that because of a decompilation of Mario 64. Oh, okay. You want to heal, by the way? Uh, sure do. But yeah, I, I think shit like that is so cool. I know someone, um... I watch uh, someone called Matt KC on YouTube, and he's doing a decompilation of Lego Island. He is fuck? still in, like, the like process of doing it, and he does, like, streams of it every now and then. And it's, like, it's so fascinating. But, um, Ship of Harkonnen is a decompilation of Ocarina of Time, like I said. Right that makes it like run smooth 60 frames per second on like modern hardware, but you can also put like mods into it. Mm. So you can make it into a randomizer and you can like, 
you know, do shit like like model swaps and like, you know, cool shit like that. But the thing that really caught my attention is you can do a randomizer in co-op. Oh. So someone else could also have the game and have their like little link player model running around at the same time as you. And like you can like interact with each other and like fight each other and stuff. Holy shit. And I think that shit is so fucking cool. I really want to try that out at That'd some be point. Fun to do, yeah. That'd you be need fun a to do. uh like a, it runs off of the PAL version of Ocarina of Time, which is like the European version. Right. Um so I think in order to make it work, you'd need either the GameCube disc of Ocarina of Time, because I think that's not region specific. Or the PAL that. version of the N sixty four game. Hack that thing. Uh oh shit. Hack it, Pat. I gotta hack it. No, I don't want it to destruct. Uh, auto, no. Uh, auto. Uh, uh, square. Do I have to make it destruct? I don't, I don't want it to destruct. I, I want it to help me. Guess you're gonna make it destroy itself. God damn it. I think that's the only way you can get past. Oh, because ah. the door opened. Okay, got it. Ah, I got it. Ah, ha, ha. But yeah, that shit seems like it's because it's like it's not illegal to do because in order to make it work, you mm. need a um, like the actual ROM, like a legally obtained ROM of the game. Right, illegally you mean? Uh, a legally obtained, yeah. not illegal. Okay. But um, oh. I was supposed to unlock. Oh my god! I mean, hacking's so weird, bro. But yeah, anyway, I, th I, I think that shit's so cool. That does sound pretty cool. I thought you were going to talk about the Zelda CDI fan game that came out. That's also a thing we could talk about. I, w I was following that on Twitter. I, w I really want to play that. I kind of want to play it, too. Yeah, that should look kind of fun. I forget what it's called already. Here, uh, I can I can look it up. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. Um, I'm always surprised people always find inspiration for games in the weirdest of spots. Yeah. You're going back up the elevator. Cool. I'm still looking it up. Give me oh a second. God, I'm still looking it up. <laughs> you'll have to. You'll have to bear with me for a second. Please I wanna. I wanna give me. credit to this really cool game that someone's putting out into the world. Arzet, the Jewel of Faramore. That's, That's what it's called. That's it. Vinny's in it apparently. Oh shit. He's a little frog dude, and he pretends that he's definitely not him, but he's definitely. Guys, it's not Vinny. It's it's a, it's an original character, please. Oh my god, MKLeo is out. Oh my god, that's funny. Oh my god. There's a Smash event happening today, and MKLeo had to play 19 was like, um, what was it? He's in losers, and people are like, oh, he's got to do a 19 perfect game win streak. He's gonna do it. He's he's MKLeo. He could do it. He could do anything. And then now he's out. And yeah, no, oh, cool. Hey, you got auto -dest auto destruct makes no sense. Don't you mean self destruct? I yeah. Auto destruct literally doesn't mean anything. Also, cool. It's gone. It's not gonna help me anymore. Well, why would? Yeah, the only one that had was going to help you was one that was in a back room corner. Dude, I'm I'm so used to. Feels uh, like such a bad game design. I'm 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 seeing this come up, and I'm like I'm so used to the hacking in Bioshock now. Right. I've been like, doing that. I yeah I. I haven't played it in a little bit, and I need to get back into it. I've yeah, just right, been I've just been a bit busy, but um, I've I've still been enjoying that game. I, I I got pretty far. I think I'm near the end of the game still. No. No. I mean, I got all the I got all the weapons no. right, no. and 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 Atlas is like, oh, we're gonna fight against uh, you know, we're gonna fight against Adam, and it's like it's the end of the game, right? Haha. -ha. Yeah, actually, you're about to get to, uh... I'm in, um, the, the theater. The theater, the theater level. Okay, yeah, you're, you're I just got done. the, uh, the crossbow. You're almost done, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. I'm, like, trying to remember... Not Adam, you mean, uh, Andrew Ryan. Andrew, yeah, Andrew Ryan, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew Ryan, um... Da, 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 da. Yes. He's, he's the final boss, so... I imagine. Yeah, you, you, you get ready for that. But yeah, I'm I'm still having a lot of fun with it. Like especially I talked about this uh, on on I think the previous stream of this, mm. where like I I am enjoying playing it on the difficulty that I'm playing it on. Right. And um, it's it's still a lot of fun. I don't really have much else to to say about it. But like, the the hacking in that game is also a lot of fun because it's like there's it gives you so many opportunities. It's like to a do simple it. puzzle game too. It's it. I could say it's not the best because of how... No, I don't want to switch. 
I don't want to, no, I don't want to switch. Get me out. Oh, okay, there we go. I, th thank you. Uh, but yeah, I, I could, uh, you know, dock at some points by it being like, oh, the hacking's all the same. It's the exact same puzzle. Right. But like, there's enough variety and difficulty in it. And there's like also like outside like upgrades that you can get to make it different. Also, it's just fun. Like, I don't yeah, care. I it's love... Like, if it's, it was any different than it is, I feel like it'd be more tedious. I love sliding puzzles like that. And that shit is just... That's all that is, is just sliding puzzles. And that shit is fun. It's like the reward you get after hacking also makes it so much more worth it. Because mm. there's, like, plenty of, like, rocket turrets, especially, mm. near the end of the game. And, like, security cameras and, and stuff like that, that when you hack literally help you in like the best way possible where like a group of enemies like all of a sudden appear there and then just you got all your machines on your side like just fucking wailing on them while you're in the back corner just like soaking it all in it's yeah. it's really great it makes you really feel like the engineer from tf2 absolutely like you're in this like shitty underground labyrinth bunch of people who are like high off their fucking minds run at you and you just like that's it that's awesome the best life i don't know where the fuck you're supposed to go by the way uh well i fell down here that's a good sign being mkleo must be so exhausting literally everyone hoping for your downfall i don't think everyone's hoping for your downfall i think everyone's trying their never mind we need to press on Hey, you need to press on. We so I'm going to, need to press Florida. On. You're going wait. You're going to Florida. I'm going to Florida sometime in May. Holy shit! Um, I'm going to go visit a friend of mine, and while I'm there, I was like, I would like to go play some locals in Florida. Yeah. I don't play anything huge. Kind of want to meet some people in Florida, and I tell my parents this today. And when I get home, my mother texts me. Mm -hmm. My mother's very on the ball when it comes to Smash event stuff. And I always appreciate her interest. Where the fuck do you need to go, actually? I, I'm i in a big, empty field. Yeah, wait. Where the the only thing that happens when I go here is it says we need to press on. Were you and there's to go this otherwise way? nothing. I mean, oh, this is a examine. Oh, oh, because oh, oh, this is this is the solar sailor. Okay, oh, I thought that was sailor. just part of the background. No, Pat. Okay. So my mom sends me this this. Thing. Sorry to hear that about you going to Florida. <laughs> I have a friend who lives in Florida. It's it's the best I can do. Yeah. So she sends me this thing called Kirby Con. Okay. It's spelled K I R B I I Con 2024, I don't know. which already is a slave problem. Didn't I didn't even realize. It's set the rest is just for May, Saturday, May 4th. Beyond. Why is it 2024? That's this year. Is it? Yes. Oh. I thought it was last year. No, you're in 2024. Okay. So I'm going to list off from bottom to top all the things at this event. There's Itasha cars. Maestro Base Bus, Flynn's Pop Up Arcade, Okay, Smash Brothers Tournament, mm -hmm. um, Burlesque Dancing, mm. DJs, Okay, uh, Drag Shows, Ooh, and a Lewd Cosplay Contest. Neat. <laughs> so I'm immediately interested. By the way, the art for this thing has um, has Baby Yoda. Like wearing headphones. Oh my god! Like I should show you the full piece. Hold on, I'm gonna show Pat the full piece. Give it to me. Give it to Here me it straight. Is. Here it is. Oh wow! Yeah, and I decided to look a little more into this. I'm not going to this event. I should clarify. Yeah. Because it doesn't seem like my thing, and payouts only for first place. Oh yeah. Uh -uh. Well, how many how many people are signing up for it? I imagine a lot. I don't I don't know how I think 111 people have signed up for this event. Uh, is what it says here. But I'm gonna list off some of these band names that are performing live. So tell me if you've never heard of any of these bands, Pat. Mm -hmm. I set my friends on fire. <laughs> good good start. <laughs> uh, Pinkle. Mm -hmm. DJ Jo. Senpai. 
Aha. Uh-huh. Midday moon. Hmm. Terminal velocity. Okay. Rippin' kitten. Ugh. Spelled R I P P I N K I T T T T I N. Mm hmm. We delicious. Pastel beach. And DJ Yoshi. DJ Yoshi. It's now, like some of them sound like. Like, yeah. look at us. We're video games. We're quirky. DJ Yoshi. And the other is just like creepy. <laughs> so here's the thing. I've listened to, I've been, I've been listening to some of these bands today. Mm-hmm. I've been, I've been getting like my head into like some of these artists to figure out what type of like vibe this place would have. Oh my God. I set my friends on fire. I love them. <laughs> Thanks, Bull Joe. I, I, I hope you're joking. <laughs> I will play you now a snippet. Oh, Not enough to get us copyright. I set my friends on fire. They did crank that soldier boy, by the way. This like a re- like a remix of yeah, it. Yes. So let, I want to play it for you, Pat. You ready? Okay. This sounds like a bit. Like this sounds like. Okay, that, okay, that's good. That's, we don't need any more. We don't want to get DMCA'd. But that so, it sounds like like ironic. I, I like it's like they're doing that for like a bit. I described it to one of my friends as I was listening to it. I described it as. For the record, I, I am joking. Thank you. I, I described it as it sounds like if Crush Forty tried Monster Energy. I <laughs> like that's the energy. That that sort of sound has to me. Absolutely. It's it's it was a very weird. I'm not going to that event, by the way. I am. Yeah. I might go to that event. <laughs> I might go just to see what the you're, fuck. Th- you're thinking about. It. It's on the fence. Because I'm like, God, if I go, that's gonna be a funny story. Yeah. But I'm gonna be so like, like that's like that's not my scene. Uh huh. It's a very much like early two thousands like Y two K, RAR XD kind of event. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, very oh old God. meme like yeah. look at us we're quirky lol random yeah I have an iPhone you've got a DS we're, we'll eat we'll eat uh, cupcakes from Pinky hers are the best or whatever the fuck right like that that sort of like ooh woo 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 style yeah Barbies, gotcha I love you bullshit Dude, saying all that brings me way back, bro. Oh my god. Yeah. I was never someone who said that, but I was always someone who's like, man, I'd be really cool if I did all that. <laughs> I'd be so cool. Oh my god. I was never that guy. I, f- I, f- I fell into that trap of thinking that shit was cool. <laughs> I know you did. I'm aware you did. Yeah, I know you're aware. I'm telling chat. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I, I I was able to look past that version of the, me the, the and be one. like, you know what? I don't know about that anymore. Maybe, maybe I should grow up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It was a very it was a very fun experience. It yeah, just, I love I love my mom, but like sometimes she, I don't because like she sent me that right right, and I can't explain to her I don't feel comfortable at that event right because then she's gonna ask why and then I have to bring up the fact that there are gonna be people half naked there yeah that I've never met in my life ever before like you know what I'm saying right like like I'm not saying that like as a bad thing I am very how do I put this I personally do not care if people are oh, damn. with each other right yeah i don't care about that i just take a while to get comfortable with people and because of that it like i feel like i need time to really know people before i feel that level of comfort with them right a place like that where people are actively trying to do things i don't you know what i mean yeah not, not my thing it's just like that's much. the kind of thing that you'd end up just kind of like standing in the corner yeah, and just being I, like, I, I would don't be standing fit. there and be like i just kind of want to play duck hunt guys right i tried to see if i could like make any new spirits at this point but i don't oh, have enough for what you, i need patrick kinsella to make any good ones i see your last thing i just want to make the, the 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 elephant dude i think he's cool i want to make him you want to make an elephant i sure do Anyhow. Anyways. I'm excited to go to Florida. I'm going, let's see. Yeah. I'm going to Virginia. I want to go out of state more often. Dude. I just need an excuse to. Dude, we should go to Florida. I, dude. 
You want to stream in Florida? Oh my you god, I don't know. Games? I don't know what I'd do there. <laughs> you, you know, just I could be a Florida man. You could be a Pat. <laughs> do not the Gator. I could. I could do the not Gator. The Gator. I could the Gator. Do not the Gator. <laughs> Swear to God, don't you fucking dare with the Gator. Yeah. Why'd you do that whole fucking wuh, 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 uh? uh man. Like an autistic kid with like um anything actually. I was thinking about like what I would phrase that to. But no, that's literally just any kid e ever. What what happened? What are you referring to? Riku like spin his blade above his head and then switched hands to the other hand to spin the blade uh -huh. and then smacked the, the thing open. That's just how he opened the chest. Yeah, you don't need to do all that. Yeah. You don't need to do all that. Absolutely. Riku. That's you probably why autistic people do that shit because they see it in Kingdom Hearts. I and it's like, dude, that's cool. I, I want to do that. <laughs> Dude, just just me. <laughs> For the record, I know about that because I hi, I'm Pat. I'm autistic. <laughs> yeah, we're both a little autistic. Yeah, I got fucking told the other day by one of my coworkers. I was like, yeah, I'm autistic, and they're like, do you mean like you're actually diagnosed with it? And I'm like, fucking yes, 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 yes. Why the fuck would I say I'm autistic? Are you autistic it like for the bit, or are you like actually <laughs> autistic? Well, because like some people like in high school and shit would do that, right? They'd be like, "Oh, I'm definitely like on the spectrum," and you'd be like, "Oh, you got tested?" Like, no, but I just I kind of no, feel but it. like I'm so quirky, right? And it's, I, I've seen people post about this too, where like they're like, "I'm tired of ADHD being seen as a weird quirky thing," mm -hmm. and I agree. It gets kind of frustrating that always, whenever it's shown in media, it's always like. Oh man, this kid's a little dude. Oh my god, we need to watch Predator, uh, twenty sixteen. Because yeah. in okay, sorry. There's th once again, my brain was like thinking about fifteen different things at once. Yeah, but they're all connected. Oh, so good. I hate it in media when it suggests that having autism means that you are special or smart in a very niche thing. Uh huh. Because it's not true. Sometimes people just you know. It's true in some cases, but right. not to the extent that media, like, depicts right. it as. So, I bring this up to talk about Predator 2016, mm -hmm. a movie where the main character is not the one in trouble, but it's his son, and it's because the Predator kidnaps his son because he believes his son is the next evolution of human ingenuity. Uh-huh. That son, by the way... Being autistic and yeah. able to translate the language of the of the aliens. It's like autistic people have special superpowers or something. Literally, that's how the movie treats it. The movie, and I kid you not, there is a line of dialogue that goes along the lines of something like, you know, it's believed that some people with autism are actually the next step of human evolution. Yeah. And I'm like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. This is in a movie. Oh my they, god. They made this movie. What do you mean you don't know what to do in Florida? Just go to KirbyCon. <laughs> yeah, I'd yeah, love to. I'd love to. But yeah, no, that sounds it's, very interesting. I, I heard, heard of the throne ship, Pat. But, but, but. Peg, I heard of the throne ship. Why is that staircase blocked by an invisible wall and mo character motivation, whereas this is blocked by a barrier? Pat, maybe, maybe you should stop complaining and figure out a solution to the game. I. Because, see, in my mind, I'm like, oh, this staircase is blocked. But this staircase clearly isn't. So maybe there's, like, obstacles I have to go around in order to progress no, and get to where no. I need to go. Gotta hurry to the throne ship. Bitch, I thought that's where the throne ship was. Man, Pat, <laughs> if you only really paid attention to this game, you'd understand the yeah, very uh -huh. complicated nuances of the level design. Oh, you know, you're you're so right it. for that. I, Riku, you can... <laughs> Riku, please... What's Riku, wrong, Pat? you can fit in there, my guy. Pat, I feel like you're complaining a lot. And not my my keyblade's too big. I can't fit in there, Riku. For the love of God, Pat, I feel like you're complaining a lot. Not really. You know, I'm, getting I'm lost. allowed to complain when I'm actually playing the game. <laughs> this is I, again. This is a dynamic that I feel like we needed for Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I need to see you get not upset. Yeah. But like, I need you to see my point of view. I absolutely. Oh, I think this is where you need to go. Oh, I think I think I need to platform. It's up. very clear by the fact that. I think I actually came over here, but like, oh well, you know, <laughs> that's cool. I need to platform. Here it is. Meanwhile, it is bad at platforming. Oh, there's unopened chests here. That must mean this is the direction to go. Also, I'm about to drop soon. 
Uh oh, don't drop now. What time is it? It is almost 11.30. Dude, we could end stream here. We could. If we wanted to, unless we have more to, uh, to talk about. Because I'm just kind of like going, and I think we're nearing the end of the Tron world for Riku. So, you know, we got like five minutes. And I'm dead. I feel like that's how we always should end the stream for Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah, you know? With someone dying. Yeah, I haven't saved in a while, as a matter of fact. It'd probably be a smart thing if I could find a save point in the last, like, five minutes. Well, you gotta find the first pet. I think, oh, well, you know what? I think this is where you came from. You think so? How, how did you open the map before, by the way? Uh, I pressed the big button in the center. The big touchpad button? Yeah, but you can't because you're in but, combat Because right I'm, I'm in combat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Pat, I wish you'd be able to do things in the game, but fuck you. Yeah. No, that's fair. <laughs> how dare you think you can... How yeah. dare I? How dare you? I still in combat? Okay, no, we're good. There you go. All right, I came from... Oh, it says I came from there because that's where I respawned because I died. Oh, um, hey, you gotta head for the throne ship. I head for thrones. There's barely. I feel like this game just like barely has any save points. Just like in general, like well, where the fuck am I gonna find a save point around here? You gotta, you gotta find the throne ship, Pat. I gotta find the throne ship. Hey, you gotta find the throne ship. <laughs> All right, get up there. There you go. And I feel. I don't think I'm up. supposed to go up there. I feel like I'm supposed to. Yeah. I feel like I'm supposed to like go in there watch and do watch stuff. Do I yeah, you yeah. you're absolutely right. You just that uh, is very uh, much an uh, autismism. Uh, <laughs> an autismism. Yeah. God. Oh yeah, I was gonna bring that back up. Yeah. The the, the just the fact that they're like, oh, I don't know if you actually have it. I'm like, bro, I was diagnosed when I was like 14. I I, I was diagnosed as years. a child, and I don't know how yeah. I'd be able like, cause I, I I know I know I still have it. It's not like it goes away. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, in there. Yeah, go in there. But like, I I wouldn't mind like if there was a way for me to get there. like, like go self. Go in the door. Oh my god. God damn it, Pat. I was trying to fight him. No. But like, if there was a way to like get like retested for it, because I'd be curious to see if there's like anything else that I could be diagnosed with. Just like you know, as like a fun curious thing, I guess. I don't know. I would like to know forever that I'm a quirky little guy. I, I know I'm a quirky little guy. And I want to be reminded that I'm a quirky little guy whenever I go get tested. Yes. I take I take an IQ test just to be silly. Just to, just to be fun just and quirky. Just to feel something. <laughs> I take the autism test just to know. Where's there a save point? For the love of God. Hey, I want to gotta... end the stream. No, Pat. What you want? I thought you want to play the game. No, I, you're right. I absolutely do. I love this game. And I want to play it forever. Forever and ever. What is your favorite Kingdom Hearts game? My favorite Kingdom Hearts game, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for like, for the time being, it's, I mean, I haven't played it in a while, but it's like, it's a toss up between two and three for me. Hmm. I know you played two and you hated it. So that means we're going to love three. That means you're going to love three. Which we definitely know is going to happen because we played. No, I'm, I'm curious to see how you feel about three because two has a lot of things that I noticed that you hated about Kingdom Hearts that three mm. kind of fixes, but... Like, I, I know there's still a lot of, um... TV elevator. Oh, my God. Behind you. Yeah, there you go. Uh, yes. There you go. I, I guess we're just doing this, aren't we, until we yeah. find a save point. We're just, we're just gonna go along today. You gotta keep going, Pat. Maybe behind this door, there's a save Maybe point. Maybe behind door number two. Oh, my God, please. Oh, for the love of... Where's there a save... I mean, uh, okay. You know what? Thanks for watching, guys. What? No, Pat, thanks, for, thanks for watching the stream. Continue, Pat. Believe in you. Oh, uh, you know what? Oh, uh, you know that's a great idea. Wait. No. No. <laughs> no. No. no!